In this video, we will look at two examples of solving linear equations in one variable that requires simplifying. Remember, to solve an equation means to find a value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. And in algebra, many equations can be simplified as part of the solution process. To simplify an equation means to eliminate parentheses or grouping symbols and combine like terms on each side of the equation. We are given the equation 8x minus 14 minus 7x plus 18 equals negative 10. Looking at the left side of the equation, there are no parentheses or grouping symbols, but we do have like terms. 8x and negative 7x are like terms, and so are the constant terms negative 14 and positive 18. And to review, I refer to these two terms as being negative because remember, if we subtract 14, that's equivalent to plus negative 14. And subtracting 7x is equivalent to plus negative 7x, which is why I refer to both of these terms as negative. Also notice how the right side of the equation does not simplify. Combining like terms on the left side of the equation, 8x minus 7x is 1x or x, and negative 14 plus 18 is positive 4, which means the left side of the equation simplifies to x plus 4, giving us the simplified equation x plus 4 equals negative 10. So this equation is equivalent to the original equation, it is now just simplified. And now to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. Looking at the left side, we have x plus 4. We want to undo this plus 4 by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. And therefore, to undo plus 4, the next step is to subtract 4 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 4 minus 4 is 0, which is why we subtracted 4 on both sides. The left side now simplifies to x. We have x equals negative 10 minus 4 equals negative 14. x equals negative 14 is our solution. To verify this though, we will now substitute negative 14 for x in the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. Beginning with the original equation again, we now substitute negative 14 for x here and here. This gives us 8 times negative 14 minus 14 minus 7 times negative 14 plus 18 equals negative 10. Now we simplify the left side to verify it's equal to negative 10. We begin by multiplying 8 times negative 14 equals negative 112. We have negative 112 minus 14, and then minus 7 times negative 14 is minus negative 98, which is equivalent to plus 98. And then we have plus 18 equals negative 10. And now we add and subtract from left to right. Negative 112 minus 14 is equal to negative 126. Negative 126 plus 98 equals negative 28. Negative 28 plus 18 is negative 10. Negative 10 equals negative 10 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. Let's look at a second example. We are given the equation 12 times the quantity x minus 5 minus 11x equals negative 7 plus 5. We begin by simplifying both sides of the equation. Notice on the left side we have parentheses, which means the first step is to distribute 12. On the right side we have two like terms, which we can combine. Distributing 12 on the left, 12 times x is 12x, and then minus 12 times 5 is 60. We still have minus 11x equals on the right side. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. The right side is simplified, but we can still combine like terms on the left side. 12x and negative 11x are like terms. 12x minus 11x is 1x or x, which means the equation simplifies to x minus 60 equals negative 2. Again, our goal is to isolate x on one side of the equation. Right now on the left we have x minus 60, which means for the next step we want to undo minus 60 by performing the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. To undo minus 60, we add 60 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 
negative 60 plus 60 is 0. The left side simplifies to x. x equals negative 2 plus 60 equals positive 58. The solution to the equation is x equals 58. But again, let's verify this by making sure it satisfies the original equation. Going back to the original equation, we substitute 58 for x here and here and verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. Forming the substitution gives us 12 times the quantity 58 minus 5 minus 11 times 58 equals negative 7 plus 5. Simplifying the left side, simplifying the left side, we simplify inside the parentheses first. 58 minus 5 is 53, giving us 12 times 53 minus 11 times 58 equals on the right side, negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Back to the left, we multiply. 12 times 53 equals 636 minus 11 times 58 is 638. And 636 minus 638 is negative 2. Negative 2 equals negative 2 is true, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.